The next step is to use a Sharpie to outline all of the windows and buildings. And it looks like this. So a couple rules of thumb while you're sharpieing, make sure that you have a mess mat underneath your work. Um, when you're sharpieing, make sure that you don't line up your ruler on top of that pencil line. You need about a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch space between your ruler and the pencil line to account for the fine point of the sharpie to hit exactly on that line that you've created. Um, and it's always easier to fill in with a vertical um, stroke as opposed to a landscape stroke and use your ruler um, to guide you so that you don't have any overcolor and you don't have to recreate any lines. So have your ruler there while you're sharpening and it will stop you so that your lines remain straight. Try and keep in mind that if you're doing a solid section in one building you may want to do a line design in the next building so that there's contrast between the buildings and they're not all matchy. Um, in here I had this one filled in, this one lined, and this one blank. And that's kind of how I staged my buildings all the way around, just to keep it balanced um, and not too dark in some areas, too light in others. After that we'll be doing watercolor. Have fun!